Hey guys, welcome to Plasma 6.4 Beta 2. Now, there's not really many changes in this, not even on the underlayer. There's just minimal bugs fixes at most. Uh, there's two UX changes. One does not want to show itself at all, and the other one is kind of the dumbest thing that I've ever seen them do. And uh, it's another UX fumble on their part. So. When we go to edit application, what's supposed to happen, there's supposed to be a hamburger menu over here next to save. And for some reason, no matter what I click, no matter what I do, the hamburger menu never shows up. And this is super annoying because it means I can't show you that. I can't show you the fix. Like, ooh, hey look, now it's up. Why is it there? Why, why is it not enabled by default? Look, now we have it. And what the worst part is, why is it overlapping over another window? What should be happening is it takes this screen edge and pops the window over there. Overlapping, I, I don't know why people do that. It's really annoying. We're in a virtual machine, by the way, if you can't tell. Damn it. Go up there. Perfect. Okay, so I managed to show you that one. Now, here's the difference. We have two monitors connected to this virtual machine for the next one. Figuring this out was a bit annoying, but I did it in the end. And there we go. This is the next bit. Do you notice now we have the ability to have this, but up here? Uh, yeah, we have double. Isn't that great? Why do you do this? This doesn't make any sense of why you would bother to do this, because if, if these two things are the same as these two things, and if you click, you can edit each option no matter what down here, it makes up here completely pointless. It does. It's a really odd, weird choice, and I don't understand it. Uh, I don't think I can. I mean, I had some people try to explain it to me, and I'm just sitting here like, uh, what? All right, let's open this up. Okay, I want to just go known settings no is it no control control center oh it's only supported under wayland and unity well basically um gnome does not have this issue right here and that's a good thing it doesn't make any sense okay now the there's a bunch of other fixes one's related to there's, there's a bunch related to x wayland and clicking and stuff and all of that, but it's not really anything worth mentioning. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff related to NVIDIA GPU fixes that help with stability and stuff. That's pretty great, but I kind of can't show that. Uh, you know, not much has really changed at all. It's sort of just one of those, here it is, we're going to have to put it in beta for some reason, and never really fix anything during along the way they did make it so now the ui renders with either qml or aurora theming i don't know why they decided they had to go through that and decide to rename things it sounds kind of pointless honestly there was something in here about wallpaper and time sync and other stuff but again it's one of those things that I just they they just do the weirdest stuff. There's an animation uh part now that's kind of nice. Global animation speed, desktop effects is right here in case you need this. See, that's a good change, but again that adds to more bloat over here. Date and time. Date and time automatically, and then there's the time zone and we're right here apply that thank you i like the map that's nice that's a nice little change because it makes it really easy hey did you know at one point that this part and this part were actually connected as one that europe actually shifted down and then this little dude it's in that little dude no i'm kidding they were connected at one point and that's how the people over here got over here way back in the day and became the indigenous people of America and Canada. And that's pretty nifty. Yeah, 
I like that. God knows they'll probably be shifting back together any time now because, well, with the way that things are going over here with Africa, uh, right here, as there's like a split happening right down the face, so that's kind of nifty. Random fact of the day. Uh, uh, software looks good. Yeah, it says 6.3.91, but on the here it says 6.4. That's what they always do. Power management. Nothing's different here. Nothing's different here. Looks the same here. Session looks the same. Default applications are the same. Yeah, there's not really much else to go by here. It's just another minor change at most. The big thing for me is that after 15 years of waiting, look at this. And it did not capture another icon and move that instead. And look, it's not capturing that icon either, which means that's also fixed as well. So the dock can now behave properly. But there is one problem I discovered. The dock will reset if you have a K-Win crash. So that issue, that issue is still not fixed. So I mentioned I have two monitors. There's the other one. Okay. Uh, let me take this and put that over there. And as you can see, it stopped showing the other. There we go. Now it shows. It was frozen for a second. So yeah, dual monitors within a VM. And uh, there's another fix I believe I want to show you real quick that if we go to install VLC, just like this from Flathub, you can now see the progress indicator is up there in the install button instead of uh, down here for some reason, which never made any sense. So I'm glad they made improvements there, but Discover is still a really horrible store to use use warehouse instead it, it's a much better application all right there i did the video uh there's some things i i, I kind of want to talk about before the end of this video so last night i uploaded a video saying arch is beginner friendly and it is that's not clickbait i don't clickbait and we had so many gatekeepers i think there was about 14 of them who were taking their own personal experiences and um, basically trying to talk for everybody else, which is a problem, right? You don't ever want to do that. I have been teaching beginners Arch Linux for the last 15 years, ever since I learned it and I learned it well enough that I can teach others on how to migrate over to it. Uh, it's been a constant avalanche uh, in DMs until I stopped one day. I just, I couldn't do it. I was getting these random DMs. Some people would send me the weirdest pictures on earth, and I'm just like, it's not happening no more. That's why I don't do it on Discord. Instead, I switched to doing primarily videos on how to teach people on how to use Arch Linux, install everything, and as you go, you may notice in my videos, I troubleshoot things. That's what you're supposed to do. I am human, you are human, and nobody is going to have a perfect installation unless they edit out all the parts that go wrong. I'm not that guy. I'm not going to edit it out. I want you to understand that even people like me that have 26 years of experience are still going to screw up. And if I screw up, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Uh, another example of this, this is the installation we did last night. And see the alien head? Is that the alien head? I don't actually have an alien head. Oh, there it is. There we go. So I click the alien head. Is it on? Okay. So Spotify. Okay. It's searching. Then we maximize this. You'll notice that it's now using the AUR to look for Spotify things. There is the one correction. I would like to thank the people that mentioned that in the comments below about that. So yeah, perfect. So with the alien head on, it searches the AUR, and honestly, that is the most backwards thing imaginable, and I don't like it. So look, um, I'm going to read a couple of comments because they're kind of ridiculous. All right, <clears throat> you were on a roll with Arch install, but then it all just fell apart with the yay Pac-Man AUR repo mess stalling your presentation. 
That's not going to convince beginners. The problem I see with Arch Linux, Simulator, Microsoft products, too many ways to do the same thing. Linux has too many ways to do the same thing. Mac OS has too many ways to do the same thing. We have these multiple different ways to do these same things. I should save this for another video. I'll do that. Bye, everybody.